the action. Is it here? Yes, yes, it's here. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for like three months. Um, okay, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Focus 14 Braille display from Freedom Scientific. And we are going to do an official unboxing. unboxing. Oh, I guess I don't need a knife. Nope. Ooh, ooh, foam. <laughs> oh, here it is. Ooh, look at that. That is compact. I'm pretty, I'm really impressed. Refreshable braille display. They managed to have um, all the keys there. They don't seem, Jesse, does it seem pretty packed together? That. Uh, oh, wow. Wow, that is very. It's got a case. Wow. Oh, look at all the, soft keys. the plugs and stuff. Yeah. Oh, look, I think they gave us the, um, the plugs for all of the European adapters. Hey. Right? So this little device has 14 cells of refreshable braille, mm -hmm. and it connects by Bluetooth or by USB to either an iPhone or a desktop computer. You know, what we need to find in here, Derek, is the um, US charger. Okay. So if you can dig through there. Sure. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the device though while you do that. Sure. It's, I mean, this is like really, the surface area on the top is about the size of a, a dollar bill, which is remarkably small. It doesn't quite fit in my pocket, I would think. Let's see, we'll try. No, not so much in the pocket. Um, however, it has the ability, you can take notes on it, just like you're writing Braille. Mm -hmm. So um, it has eight, eight dots for creating Braille, a space bar, <coughs> backspace. Um, so you can take notes just like a traditional note taker. Now I've seen Erica, our uh, receptionist up front, uh, use one of these, except for it's kind of a longer uh, refreshable braille display bar. Um, and it also has uh, the eight keys above, but they're more spaced apart. Do you feel um, when you've been using this, is it too cl close together or is it just right? When you're I think that this is very ergonomically sound. They really put a lot of work into the design. It's a little thicker, actually, than I um, anticipated it being. Um, and it doesn't really fit into a pocket. I think I'm, I was under the impression that it would fit in my pocket. And, you know, I wear girly clothes, and that's just not really, it's not fitting in any pockets I know of. Can it fit in a purse? Yeah, it could easily fit in a purse. And it has this little um, carrying case. Oh, I have a carrying case. It has this little carrying case so you could actually wear it um, if you wanted to around your neck or over your shoulder. Um, you know, which is cute and helpful. What I have been um, really happy and having fun with is using this with my iPhone. Turning off the speech completely and just um, operating the iPhone exclusively by using Braille. So no earbud? No earbud, nothing. Wow. In fact, I'm going to show you how um, I have my office set up so that I can sit here when we're having a meeting or I want to talk to somebody mm -hmm. and take notes. And without having to have an earphone in or having sound going at all, I'm able to um, type notes right into the notes application on iPhone. All right, now it's got it. Almost. There's, there's, there's a lot of plugs there in there. There is a lot of plugs. I, now I get that one. There's also ones here for East Asian plugs as well, so it's, there we go, we got everywhere. Let's see, all right, all right, that's plugged in. All right, so I'm going to go over to my desk and get it to the Bluetooth to connect to my iPhone. Okay. And I'll show you how that works. Very cool. You know, um, I really like also being able to um, connect the iPhone um, to Spotify, like I have a Spotify application on my iPhone, mm -hmm. and then being able to listen to Spotify with no speech on from across the room. So I can play DJ, essentially, from across the room using the Braille display oh, wow. without having to use any speech, um, oh, I gotta get this thing plugged in, without having to use any speech output whatsoever. Okay, so I'm just getting, turning it on, and the... Uh, Braille display says Focus 14 on there, and it's telling me it has 97% battery power. Now I'm going to turn on my iPhone 
here, and let me get you so you can see the screen. Screen curtain lock. I know that you've seen people like like to be able to see the screen. Phone, page one, password, settings. We're gonna go into settings. Settings. Do not disturb. Oh, not general. Button sounds. General. Button. General. General. And settings. we're gonna go to accessibility. Uh, the Bluetooth is already turned on because I knew we were gonna do this demonstration. Items, line, plastic, spot, auto lock, password lock, restrict, data time, keyboard, international, accessibility. Accessibility. Button. Accessibility. General. Back button. And so voiceover on, it is on, but I need to still go into the submenu there. So I double tap, and I want to go down to where it talks about Braille. And it lets me choose like contracted Braille versus uncontracted Braille. And connecting. It might ask me for a code here in a second. Which one is it? Okay. Help alert. Connection unsuccessful. Make sure focus 14 BTE and CS 620 have turned on a new range. Oh, it says Make not. Make sure focus 14 BTE. Okay, button. I'll try it again. Braille. Voice over. Back button. Braille. Heading. Contracted Braille. On. Eight step. Choose a Braille device. In progress. Selected. Focus 14 BTE and CS 620F. Not selected. Focus 14 BTE and CS 620F. Connecting. And usually, actually, the pairing is pretty quick. I think this one. Word phone. Focus 14 BTE and CS 6210. Not paired. Button. Focus 14 BTE and CS 6 Stop alert. Connection unsuccessful. Make sure focus. Make sure focus 14 BTE and CS 620. Okay. Button. Of course, it's not working when we're um, doing the video. Let's try it one. Focus 14 BTE and CS 6210. Not paired. Button. Let's try to pair this puppy. Focus 14 BTE and CS 6210. Pairing. Pairing. Secure. Okay, so now it wants my pin. Enter pin. Zero. 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 That's always the pin for the focus. Pin. Secure. One. Two. Two. One. Ah. Pin. Secure. One. Pin. Pair. Button. Pair. Braille. Voice over. Back button. And now we're pinned. Now we're paired. So I don't think to leave this plugged in because it has. Um, Voice over. Back button. It has juice from um, from being in the box still left, which is good. Um, I want to show you just right here, real quickly, how I can go to the home screen. Settings. Double tap to open. And pan around. Game Center. It says Game Double Center. App Store. Twenty one new items. App Store. iTunes. iTunes. Double tap new stand folder. Zero items. New stand. Double tap to open. Um and. I'm getting simultaneous information here on the Braille display, which is awesome. Um, I have been able, you can move with these rocker switches up and down. You can move with the pan switches here on the front. But really what I think, I'm using this um, the most with my iPhone. And what I have really liked in terms of um, systems that make me more productive is to do this. So now the speech is totally off. We're just going to take the focus, and we're going to walk over here, Derek, and we're going to talk some more. Okay. Get rid of the box there. Mm -hmm. So, on the front of the, on the Focus 14, mm -hmm. there's um, a button on the far right that starts and stops my um, music from my iPhone. Wow. Stops. See, like, I love to play, I really like to play DJ, but before I couldn't really play it with my iPhone because the speech kind of makes it not, not as fun. Um, you can flip from um, screen to screen, page to page on your iPhone. Oh. This is just a, a button that does the flip, goes from screen to screen. But uh, most, uh, what has been the most helpful to me is uh, being able to quickly take notes and um, write text messages. You know, Lana and I last night were in a um, development committee meeting for mm -hmm. the board, and it was great. I just sat here. I was able to open up the notes application on the iPhone and take notes the whole time, just like, you know, um, what, the, what the action steps were, what the deliverables were, 
and then it goes right into my Outlook on my computer. This is definitely something that I was, uh, when I first heard about this and, re and read about it, I was like, finally, you know, students, uh, you know, who uh, read Braille, you know, who are blind, can sit in classrooms and not have to have their headphones with them. They can just, like, you just turn speech off and just sit down. And it's so compact, you can put it on a desk, just like a laptop with everyone else. Yeah, and I mean... I mean, it's... If I get a text message, as you know, like, when we're in staff meeting and stuff, when I get a text message, I have to put my headphone in and listen to it and take myself kind of mentally away from the conversation. Yeah. And with this, you know, if somebody texts me right now, it's just going to pop up, and then I can just inconspicuously read whatever the, the text message is. You, you know, someone could send me a note, pass me a note during a meeting, um, and it gives me... A much more um, it, it, for me, it's it's really puts me on an equal footing. User friendly, right? Yeah, very user friendly. The commands are very intuitive. I used to use a product called the Braille Light when I was mm -hmm. in school, and um, all the commands are are very very similar to the Focus fourteen. So portability um, is really wonderful braille takes up so much space i remember when i was a kid i had a braille bible that was 19 volumes oh my big God. thick volumes um with a machine like this though you're only getting 40 characters at one time um it's beautiful braille and it's access to to words in a written form which to me is really meaningful and really valuable this is definitely something that's a game changer. It's definitely, I gosh, I did not want to say that, but I can't help it. I'm, I'm just as pleased to see that you know to hear that it, it works just as well as we had all hoped for. Like remember when you had first come across this, you're like, I can't believe this. You know, and finally we could you know have a, a level playing field and you know, students and and anyone me when I'm out in meetings and to hear that it's working just as well as we had predicted is just. It's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, for me, Braille is just, it's an essential tool. It's an essential tool. And it is not a tool that is always readily available. But um, technology changes things. And this piece of technology certainly is changing things for me.